It feels like it feels like water. Hi, explorers. My name is Ayush, and my favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate. Chocolate. Yes. Hello, is it pizza? <laughs> yes. May I order one pizza with sardines, please? Extra sardines. Bring that extra sardines. Hate it, ruin my cake. No, Ayush. Welcome to Born to Shine, being brought to you by Genius Kids. I'm, of course, Miss Renu from Genius Kids. Always happy to be here on my favorite radio station, Radio Zendige, Jeja, with my best RJ right over there with her beautiful, uh, is it red, auburn? What do we call your hair? Hmm. Burnt Sienna. <laughs> Sienna, okay, her Sienna. <laughs> I think. Uh, yes, of course. As you all know, this is a new show being brought to you by Genius Kids every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. And what is Born to Shine? You know, not everybody just wants to sit back and not shine. There's some kids that just have the ability to do anything, even achieve the impossible. And this show is about spotlighting those, I call them kids, youths, anyone from the age of five to 25. And it could be anything. We don't want to talk about academics on the show. We want to talk about what you're giving back to the community, your talent, your music, your acting, your singing, nonprofit, whatever something different. Don't talk to me about math or anything else. I want to focus on the skills that I think are important life skills on this show. So welcome. And today again, I'm really excited because it seems that all the talent always happens to come from genius kids. <laughs> and I'm so proud to say that today I'm actually going to interview this young gentleman who is just, I mean, I'm going to take his autograph after the show today because who knows, he may forget that I used to be his preschool teacher. This guy is just heading out there and we're going to talk to Mama Mita and Ayush on his journey into acting, voiceovers and also writing a book. So welcome to the show, Ayush and Mita. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hello, happy new year. Happy, happy new, new year to you. you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I've got two more days before I turn the big 60. Oh yes. my. Are you say something nice? <laughs> I, I need hey, to Trainer, touch you. Don't look 60. <laughs> does she look 60? No. Not at all. She does not. She that's looks 70. Why, that's why that look. <laughs> are you at least look convincing? <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Rainer, you have not aged at all for the last, what, 10 years that I know you? Yeah. Um, 10 years? You oh my. Same, and oh I am my. sure you're going to keep on looking the same. You I actually keep so. looking younger, so I, hope I don't know so. what you're drinking, but I need some of those, some of that. I'm uh, drinking uh, orange juice every single day. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> we believe you. Yes. <laughs> so Ayush, first of all, it's a pleasure to have you, and I'm just so proud. Uh, I still remember you as a little boy when your mommy brought you to our school. She was always asking, she asked a lot of questions. She was all those mummies who had all these questions before she brought her darling boy to our school. And it was just amazing to see how you blossomed. So I'm going to begin by the first question, of course. How old are you? Uh, I'm eight years old. You're eight years old. Okay. And uh, tell us a little bit about your grade and your school that you attend. Uh, so I go to Fidiman Farm Elementary and I'm in third grade and I do online classes. And it's pretty fun. Are you doing online now because of COVID? Yes. Okay. So are you missing school? Yeah, kind of. I miss interacting with my friends in person. Okay, okay. So um, you're into acting, you're into drama. We're going to talk about all of those things. So when did you, did you say, did you want to get into acting? Was it something you wanted to do? Well, I've always used to perform in the Roseville Theater. And one day out of the blue, my mom just said, hey, you do well in doing theater. And I also love to entertain people. I make my parents laugh all the time with my funny jokes. So she just said, do you want to jo join acting? I was like, sure, I'll give it a try. And I started booking jobs and getting agents and all that stuff. And I started to really enjoy it. Wow. So I know you were initially, Mita, the question, you were living in the Bay Area, so you moved to Roseville, right? So yes. He, when he started acting in theater and stuff, was it school plays? How, what was the journey? No, so we actually, um, you know, just as an after school activity you know we found like this local theater i mean ayush was always you know very entertaining you know he loves to sing so we said okay there's some local theater we want to support local businesses so he's like you know it's good after school um thing we didn't really think about it much you know much think about it and then he did a couple of plays there 
um, in the, he was, I think, five or six at the time. And he started really enjoying it. Like he used to look really look forward to it. And then he had two shows. I mean, not big roles, but that's where it started. Mm -hmm. And I really started seeing him like looking forward to this. And I said, all right. I mean, you know, that's where he really got the bug. He got the bug there. So then you decided to enroll him into formal acting classes? No. So it all, it, it, like I said, it, it just happened. We found out from a friend of ours that there was this local talent search that was actually, it was a global search that, mm -hmm. you know, was in San Francisco and they were here for a couple of days and they're like, oh, you know, they're actually having open casting. You know, you could take Ayush there maybe and see if, uh, you know, if he would uh, make it somewhere. I said, all right, you know, we'll give it a try. So Kedar and I took him, um, again, not thinking much of it. It was a weekend in San Francisco. Uh, we went there, it was at the Fairmont, you know, we got through the first day, then he got chosen the first day. He had to, you know, go up the first round. Okay. Play a monologue and, you know, got through the first round and there was lots of kids. I mean, there were kids from all over the Bay Area and beyond. Um, and then, you know, he got called in for the second day. And uh, the second day we found out that he's gonna now chosen to participate in like, you know, they kind of handpicked a few kids from each city. And then all the kids would now go to Florida in a Disney property and oh. would have this, you know, major like uh, monologue, you know, spotlighting that they're going to be agents there. And, yeah, you know, was great. if you, if they like you, they'll pick you. And if not, you know, have a great day. So, so we started training because they, you know, provided all the training and everything. And it was a few months and then we ended up going there and, uh, uh, it was like, what, a few days, four or five days. Yeah. And uh, every day there was different, you know, things we had to do, Ayush had to do. And uh, then by the last day, he got picked by seven agents um, from like Canada, New York, you know, obviously California. So we obviously picked LA because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, we are here. And that's how it all started because, you know, without representation, it's really, yes. um, right. I mean, it really doesn't go anywhere because right. you need to have an agent. So, so are you just going back to you? How was it? I mean, you were competing with so many kids around you and you were doing these monologues. Um, you know, were the monologues given to you on the spot or did you have to prepare for them before? I had to prepare for them. I had a script to memorize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and how do, and how do you think you? I mean, how did you feel when you found out you were selected by all these agents? I felt great. I felt like I could really do good in acting and actually make it somewhere, like on a big show. Good, good. So tell us some of the shows. I'm looking at your. I mean, you've done so many things here. So where do I begin? So you've done. <laughs> tell us maybe uh, some of the things you've done with like television or Disney. I, I know you're on YouTube as well. Uh, you disappeared. Try not to move because you disappear off the screen. There we yeah. go. Okay. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about your. What's your most recent gig? Let's talk about your most recent. Gig. Uh, my most recent gig. I can't really talk much about it okay. since it hasn't aired yet, but I can talk a little. Okay. Uh, so it's a Netflix voiceover. And I'm playing the role of a Indian god kid. It's a kid of a, well, not an Indian god. It's actually a bad guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you're doing the voiceover. Okay. You're doing the yeah. voiceover yeah, the for voiceover. that. They can only hear my voice. And okay. Yeah. It's a Netflix animation. It's going to be really cool. It's all Indian origin. And it's, it's really a lot of fun. Awesome. Awesome. And then but tell us something where you could actually, you can actually talk about it. Uh, something you've done. I think you did something with Disney or a web series. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, uh, it's a YouTube. I was a series regular on a YouTube channel called Marmorland where we got to do like fun activities, play with slime, all that stuff, learn some new things. It was really fun. And the Disney. I, yeah. Andy yeah. Disney. I've been in Chuggington. Oh, one of okay. The parts, actually three of them. So mom, you have his YouTube channel now, right? You've put together a YouTube channel for yes. him. Yes. Right? Yes. Can you share that with us so that we can all the listeners know where to go and check him yeah, out? Yeah, it's uh, Hanging with Ayush. Yes. Hanging with Ayush. Hang spelled A-Y-U-S-H. Hanging. Yes. Hanging with Ayush. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm seeing you did Chuggington season six, right? You played the lead role in that one, right? Yes. It was kind of short. And then last year... Um, he did another Netflix show. Again, we don't, you know, with, with COVID production had been really, right. um, you know, backed up and it should have aired this year, but you know, I think it's going to probably air next year, but it's, uh, yes, probably. um, we can't really talk about it again, but okay. you know, uh, 
he actually shared the stage with Michelle Obama and Lionel Richie. Yeah, I wasn't there, so I was very upset about that. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it's uh, amazing. I just got Michelle Obama's book. And then I there think there go. was a web series called The Cool School with Mr. Josh. Yes. Okay. What was, the, what was that about? Tell us about that one. We just got to learn a new thing. It was like a school kind of activity where we got to go to different places like the farm or just learn some new things. Like through school. music. Through like music. Blipping, yeah. so, like blipping math conferences? and science through music. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, Blippi goes to places. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And then you, you've got voiceovers, you've done theater, um, and then web series. Are you Have you done any commercials? Uh, yes, I've done one commercial, a Walmart commercial, and I've done a How to Train Your Dragon commercial about a toy. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So let me ask you, you're so busy with all of this stuff. What about school? Because mm -hmm. most parents would say, uh-uh. I don't want you, most Indian parents, as well. <laughs> <laughs> most Indian parents, oh, no, 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 don't leave your studies. Actually, that's a question for both of you, Ayush and mom. Yeah. So uh, Ayush, that's, a, that's a show, like, that's a one-hour show. That's not even, <laughs> like, I can't even cover that in, like, uh, 10 seconds. You know, it's, it's funny because, yes, yeah, so when we first started, even, you know, within our friend circle and immediate, you know, extended family, mm -hmm. everybody was like, what are you doing? You know, mm. I mean, everybody loved the fact that he was in it, but mm. it was a hobby, you know, right. um, again, like they just couldn't wrap their brain around that. Okay. This could be something serious. Right. Right. Um, and I also started like, okay, let him do it. You know, he, he's enjoying He's you know, he's good at it. You know, as parents, that's all we can do, right. Give them the tools and support them if they, that's what they want to do. But you know, it has actually helped him academically. I mean, he's always been really good in school, but, right. um, and you know that, Ms. Rainey, he's been reading right. from yes. a very young age, but, yes. right. you know, when you get into performing arts, right, especially acting, I mean, you're given, like, pages of pages of scripts that you have to memorize, yeah. right? He, you have to read, you have to dissect it, you have to analyze mm -hmm. the, you know, so his reading comprehension, um, you know, writing, I mean, all that has actually helped them. The acting yes. has actually helped them. Yeah. So, because you're studying and, the character. Right, you're, you're studying the character. The I mean, right. you know, what? so in school, he has no problem dissecting, a, you know, like a reading comprehension, like when he's, you know, having, you know, writing and reading, he's, mm -hmm. he's excelling in that because he's like, oh, this is a piece of cake for me. Um, and then also there's, it's California, right? I mean, it's, it's mandatory to go to school. So it's not like we can skip that. Uh, it is hard, you know, because when you have to go to auditions, you know, you don't get much of... Um, uh, an alert. It could be 24 hours. I mean, right. I could get a text right. right now and say audition tomorrow. So the, when he first started last year, I mean, we've only been in the industry for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. but when he first started, he was going to a public school. So it was very hard because they don't really, right. you know, support all this. So, it, you know, daddy was putting him in the car. We're driving to, you know, from Bay Area to LA because all the auditions are there. Back and mm -hmm. forth, man. Back and forth. So he was doing that <laughs> almost a whole year. And, um, then when he was filming there, he was there like almost every month. Mm -hmm. So the school would, you know, if you give them enough notice, they would get the paperwork ready. Right. But if not, you know, I mean, there are set teachers. I mean, there's right. mandatory school hours that they get credit for. So you're not just filming the whole day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's actually getting one-on-one -on -one teacher. It's like, it's better than being in school because you have a one-on-one -on -one tutor right, right. who's sitting with you for four hours or six hours or, you know, just mm -hmm. doing your schoolwork and, um, you know, you getting your school credit. So um, I think academically it has helped him even more because more. he's getting that one-on-one -on -one attention and, uh, you know, it's worked out. So I used to, let me ask you, what, what, mom's experience, and I know now you've moved, right? Um, yes. You guys and mom and dad have moved. So this, fact we, we are actually half and half. I mean, we are, okay. you know, I'm, I'm here because, you know, my work is here. I haven't totally done the move yet, but so I used to here in Northern California. Yes, Ayusha and his daddy is, you know, yeah. Wow. So are you, mom's talked about all the school and stuff. Do you feel sometimes, oh my God, it's too much. And I have all the school work and then I have all these scripts to learn. How do you feel as an eight year old? To be honest, I don't really feel that way. I mean, it's kind of like easy because I memorize pretty fast. I mean, I guess that was just a gift I was born with. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
this is interesting go on <laughs> now actually even i was going to ask you know i yeah. did it did it ever get overwhelming for you when you were here and you had to you know go to uh, la all the time go to uh, you know travel uh, all the distance all the time did it ever get overwhelming for you back then or even now you know when now that uh, you have school and there's a lot of work as well and, uh, actually uh, still no because i can't to move stay in the frame to disappeared yeah there yeah. you go stay in the frame yeah Go ahead. You will disappear. Yeah, I don't get overwhelmed because I kind of enjoy yeah. making this in the songs, look at the window, have fun. <laughs> okay. 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 Cool. So, <laughs> all right then. Yeah. What, what, don't, have to, don't have to listen to mommy every day. What now? Why wouldn't you have fun with that? <laughs> you know. I, I knowing with, knowing how you she's, knowing how you she's probably telling dad what to do. <laughs> I, I yes, that's exactly what's now. happening. Yep. Uh, Dad, and why don't you go make dinner now, and uh, we'll, we'll grab a quick drink before the next rehearsal. Okay. So, Ayush, I, you know, uh, when Mom was talking about auditions, and you know, uh, when you had gone to Disney, and there were these monologues and stuff, did you ever get nervous? And even now, what would you tell people? You know, kids your age, or what, what would you tell anyone who gets nervous before a performance? Since you clearly have overcome that very well. I do get nervous whenever you? I go to an audition. Yeah, I okay. get really nervous. So I'm like, okay, am I gonna do good? What if they don't like me? But I get confident to like do like I'm gonna nail this. I'm gonna show them what I got. And I bring my hundred and ten percent. Oh, okay. So bring your confidence. Be confident. Excellent. That's do you want to have a motivational right there, huh? Does Ayush want to have a motivational talk show on radios in the <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think he does. He needs a motivational talk. He should. So, Ayush, let me ask you. You know, most kids. You you touched on a very important point that most kids would worry that what if I don't get this right? Hmm. Many kids worry about. They consider not getting something as failure. Have you uh, have you ever been? You probably have already. Have you ever been in auditions where you didn't get them? Oh, where did you go? I've been in a lot. There are more no's than yeses, but okay. How do you handle those? I mean, I handle those just fine. I don't know about other kids. They may think it's like failure, like they didn't do good. But hey, you 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 at least bring your hundred and ten percent. Yeah. So as long as you bring your hundred and ten percent, you'll be good to go. If you don't get it, just remember that you brought your hundred and ten percent. That you did your best. So, you know, wow, that's great confidence and this is great attitude. And for those who are listening in, you're meet, talking to Ayush. He's only eight years old. He's already making commercials, uh, you know, Disney movies, voiceovers. And we've also know you wrote your first rap song when you were five years old, right? <laughs> yes. What was that rap song? Sing it for us. Do you remember it? I think it was Eye of the Tiger. Okay, no, it was, it was a Ghostbuster song. Oh, that one in the mall. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and give us a few lines. I can't really remember <laughs> what it was, but I'll try to improv it. Uh, don't be afraid because Marshmallow Man's gonna, but hey, I don't, I can't remember <laughs> what it was. You know, it was, it was in Home Depot. Yeah, I climbed, there yes. was this like ladder thing, and I literally climbed on that, and I started singing. Yes. Cool. That, and of, of course, mommy wasn't with him, right? So I get no, this video course, yeah. from daddy. Well, this probably shopping and my kid yeah. on a ladder, like wrapping Ghostbuster stuff in, in Home Depot. I'm like, what is going on? So I can uh, just visualize Kedar is paying at the cash register, and he realizes his son's got missing <laughs> and he's hanging from a ladder. <laughs> oh so when you see yourself, Ayush, uh, let's say you're eight now. So let's talk uh, 10 years from now, when you're 18 years old, where do you see yourself and where do you want to be? I want to be a doctor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, that the, is that the Desi Jean talking? Yes, it's a doctor and an actor. He's going to be all, he's, he wants to be all. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you want to be a doctor. Wonderful. Okay. What I about also want to be in like a Disney show or a Disney movie, but somewhere in Disney. Whether it's a voiceover or something. But don't you but, want to do this full time? Why would why do you want to be a doctor? Because I love helping people mm -hmm. and I love to see people be happy. Yeah. Well, maybe That's you could good. be the next Dr. Vin Gupta. You could be a doctor and then you get to be on television. Yeah. And you're yes. getting to do both, right? Yes. Yeah. George Yeah, absolutely. Why not? 
Yeah, that's <laughs> wonderful. And and Mita, where do, where would I mean if you were to uh, if, for parents who are listening in who've got talented kids but they all worry about oh no I want them to do this and that and yeah. for this reason they might lose their attention. What would your message be out there for parents who are listening in? You know, it's it's again you gotta first of all. I mean, I also meet parents that I mean, as you can, as you know, in the last decade or so, I mean, it's. In the entertainment business, representation has changed a lot. And you see more and more South Asian actors and, mm -hmm. you know, creatives that are just like flooding in. And it's just going to get better from here. So if your child definitely has the genes and the bug and, you know, they really want to do this, I think we sh you should really support it. But then I've also met the set of parents who really push their kids to do this and right. their kids don't want to do this. And mm -hmm. it it's, it's, you know, the message is really strong for those because I've, I've met those parents as well that the, you could clearly see the kids are not enjoying it. And it's, it's a push coming from the parents. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a shift because before it was just the opposite. And now I right. see a little bit of a shift where, you know, they are pushing them towards, you know, um, performing arts. But again, you got to find out first and foremost, if this is what your kid really wants to do. Um, that's a conversation, you know, Kedar and I had with him. We still do every day. Because it's, it's, it starts from home. And it's, if, if there's something that he wants to do, you know, we are behind him 100%. But if, if tomorrow he wakes up and says, you know what, I'm done. You know, he's done. You know, there'll be no ifs, ands, and buts. There'll be no pressure from us. You know, it's, it's really at the end of the day what he wants to do. And as parents, uh, we are here to give him the tools. And it's a lot of commitment, not from right. just the talent. It's it's a family commitment it's because family it takes a lot, a lot of time, a lot of weekends, a lot of time, a lot of sacrifice, and yeah. you have to be committed. And it's it's not a joke. So and uh, it's is a you know time is money, and producers in Hollywood don't you know they don't play games. So absolutely. it's something you know if they really want to do it and you think they have the talent, absolutely, I think one hundred percent they should be supported. So Ayush, your message to all the kids out there who want to do this, but are scared to go tell their parents that this is what they really want to do because they, all they hear is, no, you have to be a doctor, you have to be an engineer, you have to be just like Dadaji and Nanaji and this and that. And they're like sitting there going, no, but I want to be like Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> and now they're watching the show and they go, I want to be like Ayush. I want to be like, just like him. What would your message be to those kids? How do you go tell your parents what you want to do? Well, I mean, if you want to do acting, then you go do acting. I mean, follow your dreams. I mean, your parents should support you 100%. And they shouldn't be like, oh, you need to be a doctor. You need, you need to be an engineer. You need to be a sheriff. I don't know. <laughs> sheriff. 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 <laughs> um, do you have any lines? What do you mean parents <laughs> telling their kids to be a sheriff? I but know. why not? <laughs> Um, do you have any lines you can share with us from any one of your roles or anything that you remember? Uh, I can share one line. This was from the uh, Ye Happy voice. Like, <laughs> I guess oh, I, can, I, guess I can say the name. No, don't just, say the name. Just just give us a, is that where you're playing okay. the Indian kid? Is that okay. where you're playing the Indian kid? Yes. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear just that. Go ahead. Say your line. And this is my dad. <laughs> that was that was one of the lines. Yeah, and this I is my dad. Like the kid virgin. My genius kid, right there. <laughs> I know this is your genius kid. <laughs> yes. So we have a few more, few more minutes before we wrap up, and I really, really want to say, you know, I'm so proud of you, Ayush. I'm just so proud. Um, it's amazing. You know, when these little babies uh, come into our school, you never know which direction they're going to go. And it's so wonderful. You know, I get so many knocks on my door and kids will walk in and they're now taller than me. And some of them have beards and they'll be like, hello, Ms. Renu. <laughs> I'll be like, who are you? Look, I've, I've come to tell you, this is what I've done, you know? And it's just, that's, it's so heartwarming for me to be able to see, uh, especially when you talk about confidence and mm. your acting, public speaking, drama, that's what I'm so passionate about. So I feel so wonderful and i'm I, you know i'm just so happy and i hope one day and you will continue to follow all your dreams and be a doctor so i can come <laughs> to you get treated and get some humor while i'm getting treated <laughs> so what should we look out for uh, i know you can't take the names of any shows but uh, anything special I and mean, what's your favorite that you've been that we can go on your youtube and watch today uh my favorite show that i've been in is probably Marmorland because we got to do a lot of fun stuff. I mm. met a lot of new people. 
a lot of uh, life lessons, you know, yes. doing kids I've activities. I made a lot of new friends. Good. You want to do a shout out to any one of your friends? Uh, yeah. Uh, Hayden. 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 Yeah. She's okay. a pretty big star. So if you're some... watching this, shout out to you. And what about <laughs> some cute girls, Ayush? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, look, at that. So look at mom's face. Yeah. Yeah. Ayush, come on. Give a shout out to some cute girls over here. <laughs> Mommy, of course. I mean, who else? <laughs> there you Come go. on now, and Miss Renu. Yes. There you go. Yes, of course. Well, you know, <laughs> Hayden, you. you're lucky to have such a wonderful friend who gave you a shout out. And again, Mita, Ayush, thank you so much. Thank um, you for having us. Yes, thank oh, you. No, it's an honor. Thank you so much. And Kedar, if you're there, maybe you can, between the screen going in and out. Where's Kedar? I'm he's, right here. He's I'm right here. Right he's, he's, he's behind the computer. He's behind, he's behind the computer. The, okay, he's okay. behind the scene guy. Yeah. He's behind the scene guy, yeah. yeah well, uh, he, he doesn't believe in spotlight. <laughs> yeah. It's well, not his thing. It's not his thing. Oh, it's not his thing. It's not his thing. <laughs> special <laughs> shout out to Kedar as well, because of Thank course, you. without daddy's support, you can't do all of this stuff. Yeah. And keep, uh, keep rocking, and we're going to just chime in, and we're going to make sure that we keep following you on YouTube. And, and mom, keep posting all these amazing stuff. Absolutely, stories. we will. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for having the show and having us. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Bye. And yes, bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, bye. bye. thank bye. you for being here. It was fun. It was, you know, interesting to to hear Ayush speak. I mean, he's eight physically, age eight, but he's like way beyond his years with yes, the wisdom and uh, the the confidence that he has. It's amazing. So Ayush, nice kids will do that to you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, there we go. So, good, listen good genes, again. Good genes and genius kids together make a great <laughs> Good genes and genius kids, yes. <laughs> so, this show, listeners, is all about kids who are born to shine. So, if you know somebody, if you know a kid who has, you know, who's born to shine, who's doing something in any field which is extraordinary, write to Miss Renu and, uh, you know, uh, she, she can definitely help you bring them to Spotlight over here. Her email address is renud at gmail.com. And this show happens every Friday, 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, Wednesday. 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 Not really Friday. Excuse yeah. me. Happens every <laughs> Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Feels like a weekend already. <laughs> All right. And uh, this video will remain here. So do share. Thank you, Miss Renu. Thank, Thank you, Ayush. Thank you, Meeta. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.